Hi everyone, welcome to a new day that we come together to pray sacred scripture. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seeds of the Word community and I would like to welcome all of you that are joining us this Monday, August 24th, in the 21st week of Ordinary Time, to do acts of divine and to pray sacred scripture together. For today is St. Bartholomew's Feast Day, so it is an Apostle Feast Day today. The Gospel of St. Matthew, Mark and Luke and the Acts of the Apostles Count Bartholomew as one of the twelve apostles, accounting his name with Philip. John's Gospel links the name Nathanael with Philip and never mentions Bartholomew. Apart from that, we know little about him. Some scholars identify the apostle Bartholomew with Nathanael, a solution supported by the fact that Bartholomew could be a surname, bar Tholomai. Bar in Hebrew means son, and Bartholomew would be his father's name. And Nathaniel, a given name, Nathaniel. So his name would be Nathaniel Bartholomew. If so, then Nathaniel was the man in whom the Lord saw no guile, and one who was among the apostles when the risen Lord appeared by the Sea of Galilee. What is certain is that Bartholomew left everything to follow Jesus, becoming his disciples, his disciple, friend, and apostle, and trusted with the continuation of his mission. So today, a feast day in the church, St. Bartholomew's Feast Day. So for the readings of today, we will be reading and meditating upon this grace of discipleship. So first, first reading, from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verses 9 to 14, the responsorial psalm, Psalm 145, and then the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 45 to 51. So let's start the reading of the first reading of today is, the, is Revelation, chapter 21. One of the seven angels who had who had seven bowls full of seven last plagues, and spoke to me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And in the spirit he carried me away to a great high mountain, and showed me a holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, its radiance, like a most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal, it had a great high wall with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates the name of the twelve tribes, and the sons of Israel were inscribed. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them the twelve name of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the first reading of today, St. John tells us about the vision of the new Jerusalem. So he receives a vision of the new Jerusalem, of the bride of Christ, the wife of the Lamb. And that's the church. The bride of Christ, the wife of the Lamb, is the church. And we see here, John mentioning 12 gates, 12 angels, 12 tribes, and at the end, 12 names of the 12 apostles. That's to show us that we're entrusted to them, to the 12 apostles, to take care of the bride of Christ. That's why we celebrate the apostles. They were these great saints that, living together with Jesus on earth, they were entrusted to them to carry Jesus' mission the mission to take care of his bride, of his church. And today we are invited to pray for our church and to pray for our bishops, that they are the successors of the apostles. So asking the intercession of St. Bartholomew, St. Nathanael, this grace of being able to continue Jesus' mission on earth. That's what the apostles were called that's what our bishops are called. That's what our church is called to continue the mission of Jesus on earth. 
and in Psalm 145, 145, verses 10 to 13, then verses 17 to 18, the psalmist says, All your work shall give you thank shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your saint, all your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to the sons of men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. So all the saints of the Lord will bless him. All the saints, especially the apostles. The life of the apostles was to continue Jesus' mission. And together with them, we are called to sing the praise of God, giving thank to, thanks to him for all the graces that we receive from him and that his kingdom is an everlasting kin kingdom and his dominion endures through all generations. And the gospel that we will be meditating today is the gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 45 to 51. And Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael come, coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You shall see greater things than this. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, you will see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And it is so interesting what we see in this gospel today is that Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Philip met the Lord. Philip had an experience with Jesus as the king of Israel, as the savior of his life. And what did he do? He invited his friend to meet the savior. It's so beautiful to see how this friendship brought Nathaniel to the Lord. Philip wanted to share with Nathaniel the grace that he had received meeting Jesus. And we can meditate today, reading these readings, doing Lexia Divina. How are we called to invite others to meet the Lord? We are called, we are invited to be other Philips that invite our friends, our loved ones, to meet the Lord our God. And Nathaniel was a little bit skeptical at first, but then Philip again had come and see. Philip invited Nathaniel, Bartholomew, to have this experience with the Lord. He wanted Nathaniel to experience what he experienced, to meet the Lord, wasn't just something talking about a good guy that he met, that he thought to be the Christ, the Savior, but he invited Nathanael to go and to meet the Lord, to see the Lord, to experience himself, because everyone who met Jesus felt something different. Not only felt in a sensible way, but they recognized that he was the son of the living God. And right when Jesus saw Nathanael, he saw him coming and he said, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom is no guile. 
the Lord knew Nathanael. Like St. John says, we were chosen first. When we didn't choose the Lord, he chose us first. So he knew who Nathanael was before Nathanael was presented to him, was introduced to him by Philip. He knew Nathanael. And Nathanael asked him, how do you know me? And Jesus said, I saw you under the fig tree. And something interesting, the fig tree for the people of Israel was a symbol of God's peace and blessing. We can see this in 1 Kings and the prophet Micah and many other passages. It proved, it proved, it proved shade from the midday sun and cool refreshing place to retreat, pray and reflect on God's word. So the fig tree was this place known that you could get a very good shade and you could meditate under its shade. Rabbis often gather their disciples under shade of the fig tree to teach them the wisdom and revelations of God, God's word in this scripture. The rabbis had an expression for comparing the fig tree to being nourished with God's word in scripture. He who tends the fig tree will eat its fruit. So a fig tree was a, a sign for the people of Israel of a place that you meet God through his word, through his law. And when Jesus said that he saw Nathanael under the fig tree, Nathanael felt known by the Lord. In this exact moment, he knew that he was known by the Lord, that the Lord kn knew him and that he, the king of the universe, the king of Israel was there among them. So it was special that the Lord mentioned to him the fig tree. And right after that, he opened up to the Lord and said, You are the son of God. Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. But Jesus said, Are you impressed that I said that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see even greater things. And that's the mission that the Lord entrusted to his apostles. So many times the apostles, they were amazed by little things, by small things that the Lord did and said. And the Lord always told them, are you impressed by that? You will be impressed, even more impressed with greater things. Today in this Lexi Divina, the Lord is inviting us to meditate upon the grace of being like Philip inviting others to meet the Lord. And today is a special day that we can pray for the conversion of our loved ones, those ones who we pray and who we wanted that would have the same faith and the same love for the Lord that we have. Be like we are called to be other Philips that are presenting, introducing Christ, the Savior, to others, to our loved ones. But also we can learn upon the life of Nathaniel or St. Bartholomew. We should learn that even if we are skeptical at first, but we are called to open our hearts to the Lord. He, was, he wasn't sure whom Jesus was, Jesus was at first, but then he opened his mind and his heart to meet the Lord, to really believe in the Lord. And in this Lexia Divina today, we are invited to see all those moments in our lives that we don't receive Jesus as the Christ, as the Anointed One, as the Son of God. And we are closed in ourselves, just in our thought, in what we think that is right or is wrong. And I really encourage you to have this word, a word of contemplation today. Choose one verse, meditate and see what the Lord tells you through this gospel, through the, word, through the word of the Lord today. We are invited to be like the psalmist, to be singing God's praise and to, to feel known by the Lord. Nathaniel was known by the Lord. He felt that, that that's why he believed that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of the living God. And I would like to leave you today with a quote from St. John Chrysostom. He, taught, he gave us a thought on this gospel. 
do you see how Jesus led Nathanael up little by little from the earth and causes him no longer to imagine him as merely a man? For one to whom angels minister and on whom angels ascend and descend, how could he be a man? This is why he said, You shall see greater things than this. And to prove this, he introduces the ministry of angels. What he means is something like this. Does this, O Nathaniel, seem to you a great matter, and have you for this confessed me to be a king of Israel? What then will you say when you see angels ascending and descending on me? He persuades him by these words to receive him as, as Lord also of the angels. For on him, as on the king's on, on son, the royal ministers ascend and descend, once at the reason of the crucifixion, again at the time of the resurrection and the ascension, and before this also, when they came and ministered to him. They also ascended and descended when they proclaimed the good news of his birth and cried, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. When they came to Mary and also when they came to Joseph, our Lord made the present a proof of the future. After the powers he had already shown, Nathaniel would readily believe that much more would follow. May the Lord bless us on this day, and may St. Bartholomew intercede for us also. Amen.